Right, and we are live. Hey guys, I'm Stuart from NetReady and this is MLM for CEOs, the channel that is aimed at providing key insights to decision makers operating within the multi-level marketing space. In today's episode, we're going to be speaking about the importance of recognition within the network marketing industry. And here to unpack all that information is a good friend and mentor of mine. He's a man with over 35 years experience within this industry. And he's regarded as an authority globally within the multi-level marketing space. I'm sitting here and I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Richard Sletcher. Hey, Stu. How's it going? Good to be back. Hey? It? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Love it. Love these sessions. Yeah. Oh. So nice now that we're doing it on a more regular basis. Right. Every yeah. Tuesday and Thursday at 11 o'clock yeah. Central African time for those uh, watching overseas or catching up on uh, YouTube. We would love for our people to interact live with us on, on our Facebook live events, just like this. You know, we, we love the comments that are coming in and we have a team that's responding to it. So, you know, if you have any questions, you can ask them on the Facebook live or once we post it on Facebook, or you can even um, ask the questions on YouTube. So yeah. there's a number of platforms. So and we want to start going, we want to start uh, doing live st stuff on YouTube as well. And, but the challenge is you've got to have um, a huge following before YouTube actually allows you to do that. So sure. for those of you out there who want to watch us on YouTube, just hit that subscribe button and the bell and get some notifications, help us to get the traction on YouTube. We've got massive traction on, on, on Facebook already. I mean, sure. we've got over 10,000, about 10,000 yeah. Yeah, followers, um, on followers on yeah. Facebook. Um, because that's where we focus most of our attention. But obviously YouTube is a, is a massive platform and yeah. we like to really get involved in that yeah i mean the uniqueness of growing a, a, a facebook channel uh, with ten thousand people I mean, this we're, we're a we're a software company a software and logistics company you know, we're not a b2c company that has the masses of people coming on but there's there's definitely people out there ten thousand, and they want to see all this content so it's well it's it's, it's mainly company owners because it's exactly. multi-level marketing for ceos it's actually multi-level marketing but directed at the owners of the company who want to leverage this um, route to market to get their products out into the world. So, sure. so ten thousand followers, not too bad. Of that type mm -hmm. is like crazy, crazy good. Yeah, in my opinion, anyway. You keep telling me that. I keep on looking <laughs> at Joe Rogan and saying, "Hey, listen, what the hell are we Millions. doing wrong here?" You know, Look, Joe's got how many billion? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we've only got ten thousand. But you keep telling me that ten thousand is not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. So let's get into this episode. We're speaking about uh, the importance of recognition within the network marketing space. And how important, let's start there. How important is recognition and recognizing your people's performance? Yes, it's critical. Eh? <clears throat> about 20% of your network is driven purely, purely by recognition. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I ran, as you know, I ran an MLM company where we had I don't know, it's about 10,000 ladies because it was a, a children's bath product range, mm -hmm. a company called Acorn Kids. And so that was my company, and we had these 10,000 ladies. And what I found specifically amongst the ladies is that recognition was a, a very significant part of what drove them. And I think the reason being is that they were not getting the recognition at home. They were housewives, moms. Uh, um, they weren't getting recognized for what goes into running a home, looking after children. You know, hubby would come home. He's been recognized all day at work. Mm. Um, and then he would expect the food to be on the table. He would expect the house to be clean and tidy. He would expect, expect, expect. And the recognition levels weren't there. And what we discovered with, with Acorn Kids is that it was one of our biggest drivers. Mm. One of our biggest drivers was recognition, getting the people up, showing them that we recognized the efforts they were putting in. And the more we recognized them, the greater the effort they put in. Sure. So we found that to be an incredibly important thing. You know, for, sorry, Richard, for Acorn Kids, it was, it was mostly moms, um, uh, full-time moms, part-time job. And most of your distributors were, were female. Yeah. But globally, within the network marketing industry, there's 82% of, of our people are female. I'm networkers, yeah. So if the recognition plays such an important role, why aren't you recognizing your people? Yeah, and I think that also companies get the wrong idea of what recognition is. Mm -hmm. Recognition is not a check. Mm -hmm. Recognition is not money. Recognition is not paying them for doing X, Y, and Z. You know, I don't recognize you by giving you a, a trip to the spa. Yeah. You know, I don't, re that's not recognition. That is either commission or incentives. Recognition costs a company zero, nothing. Mm -hmm. 
And there's wonderful ways to recognize people. But the fundamentally, what you're saying to the person is, listen, you did a great job. And you do it in public. You know, there's an old saying, you, um, you chastise in private, you recognize in public. Mm -hmm. You never chastise in public right. because that is exactly the opposite of recognition. So what happens is you, you recognize loudly and publicly people's achievement. Mm. And if you have a look at what can you recognize, well, there's just so much you can recognize. If a person signs up two people, you can recognize them. Mm. If the person signs up four people, you can recognize them harder. Six people, you can like be completely chaotic about how you recognize them. If they hit certain sales volumes, you can recognize them and you can give them names and titles. If they hit a rank, so they build a certain structure and get certain group volume, you can give them a rank and you can recognize them for the rank. And so there's 150,000 ways, I'm not sure if that's the exact number, but there's <laughs> loads of ways um, that you can recognize people and you can make the recognition automated. And yes. that's one of the big things with recognition is that you can automate the process. So I'll give you an example. So sorry, it should cost nothing and it should be automated. Well, you, you, it should cost nothing and you should have mechanisms that make it easy for you to recognize mm -hmm. people. Okay. If you are doing everything manually, it becomes unsustainable because mm -hmm. as your network grows, now say 50 people become a certain rank, now you've got to try and phone 50 people up and recognize them. It sure. becomes unmanageable and yeah. unsustainable and it's not scalable. So. You have to make it simple and automated as automated as possible. And then you also have got to base it on an honest system. Mm. Okay. Because if somebody, if you say to, for example, let me give you an example. Okay. Person signs up two people. Mm. You can give them a name. Let's call them a pace setter. Okay. That's what Amway calls them. Yes. Now, you don't have to check that. You're not paying them any money. So you can say, everybody who signed up two people, please, would you stand up? walk down to the front of the stage, mm -hmm. and then you get everybody to give them a round of applause. Now, if somebody didn't sign up two people and they still walk down to the front of the stage, do you care? It doesn't matter. If they need that recognition so mm. badly that they're prepared to fudge the facts, let's call it, or exaggerate it, maybe they signed up two people within <clears throat> 30 days over two months, yes. you know, fine. Recognize them. Mm. So you get everybody comes down, round of applause. Everybody who signs up four people, please come down, walk across the stage, they get a round of applause. Mm. And we call them a double pay setter. Now, how much did that cost you? Nothing. Nothing. And the people who signed up six people, what you can do is get them to come down, stand on the stage, and you get the whole audience to stand up and give them a standing ovation. And so everybody stands up and they cheer like crazy for those people. And of course, everybody knows what that works. You train your people on how that works. And so when you get when they stand up to give that standing ovation to the people who signed up six people, they whistle and they scream and they whoop and they cheer and they mm. clap. Yeah. And these people stand on the front of the stage. When has anybody had the opportunity? Most people never in their lives get the opportunity to have that experience. Stand on the stage and the, the whole crowd gives you a standing ovation? Yeah, oh, uh, exactly. Never. You know, so it's, it is such an amazing feeling now, I mean, I know what it feels like. I mm. spent 20 years as a professional musician and singer. So I've been on stage where there's been literally thousands of people cheering and shouting, we want more. And that feeling is just, there's no feeling like it. Yeah. And that wow. recognition just blows your mind. And people will walk on glass to be able to walk down onto the stage and stand on that stage and get a standing ovation. Mm. And so you drive behavior. Sign up two people, you walk across the stage. Sign up four people, you walk across the stage. Sign up six people, you get a standing ovation. And if everybody knows what they've got to do to be recognized in that way, and they know how that recognition is going to come, then at your national conventions, which should be happening three times a year mm -hmm. or whatever, at your conventions or your weekend seminars, you can recognize those people. And you don't even need to measure it. You just have to say to everybody, hey, anybody who signed up four people, come down here. Everybody give them a round of applause. And as they walk across the stage, somebody from the company shakes their hands and says, well done. If they sign up two, they just walk across the stage. Sure. Sign up four, yeah. they get a handshake. Yeah. Sign up six, they get a standing ovation. Mm. You with me? Yeah. Same thing if you want to talk about automation of recognition. I mean, we have this tell the upline. Mm. So what happens is, let's say I recruit you, you recruit Kirsten, and Kirsten recruits 
um, title. Okay. When Kirsten recruits Tato, the system should send out an SMS to say, congratulations for joining Tato. That's amazing. So happy to have you on board. Then it should send an email or an SMS to Kirsten and say, hey, well done for recruiting Tato. You're awesome. Mm. Then it should send Stuart an SMS and say, hey, listen, Kirsten just recruited Tato. Call Kirsten on this number. Call Tato on this number. Welcome Tato and congratulate Kirsten. Then Richard gets an SMS and say, hey, listen, Stuart's team's growing. Yeah. Give him a call <laughs> and tell him well done. And by the way, why don't you give Kirsten a ring and Tato a ring? Welcome Tato, tell Kirsten. Now what happens is that without the company being involved, I phone you say, hey, Stu, well done. I see you just signed somebody up. That's awesome. I phone Kirsten and say, Kirsten, you're getting your business off the ground. As a leader, I'm now interacting with your person, congratulating them. So you've been recognized. Kirsten gets recognized. You phone Kirsten so she gets recognized by me and by you. And the company send her an SMS saying, well done. Mm -hmm. So she's been recognized three times. And Tato gets welcomed by me, by you, by the company, and by Kirsten. Oh, that's just so powerful. Yeah. Now, all of that recognition, yeah. the cost of that is whatever yeah. it is, a few cents yeah, for the, for SMS. the SMS. Yeah. And suddenly you've created this entire recognition strategy, which the company can automate. Mm. They don't have to do anything. Yeah. The whole process just works. And the company's automated it, and the network is being communicated with. Right. Not only is the upline feeling the love, but Tato, who's just joined this business, is getting a call from each each level up. Yeah, exactly. And he's feeling the love. So he's now, feeling motivated. Exactly. Now, yeah. obviously, you have to train your people how to respond to those SMSs. Sure. What do you need to do? Yeah. And if your people are not phoning their downline to congratulate yeah. them, you need to actually yeah. look at your training. There's, there's there's a the break problem in the is. But the beauty is that it doesn't even cost you a phone call. Mm. As a company owner, you put these mechanisms in place, it doesn't even cost you a phone call. Mm. You know, and somebody joined your team is another way to recognize people. So that's a somebody joined your team, please phone them and congratulate them. But you could send the, an SMS three or four or five levels up just saying, well done, Stuart. I mm. see somebody just joined your team. Now, we did this at Acorn Kids, work like a bomb. I was standing, I was sitting in a, in a hotel around the corner here, yeah, this recruiting awesome. somebody into the team. Yes. And while I'm sitting there, my phone is going off. Now, what we did is we got everybody in Acorn Kids to download that old ka sound from <laughs> yes, a till. Yes. Every single time somebody joined my team, I got a ka on the phone. So I'm sitting there. My phone goes ka I carry on talking to the guy. Phone goes ka carry on talking to the guy. ka -ching. So I said to the guy, check this out. These are all people who are joining my team as we're sitting here talking. Now, the first thing is that the power of that was incredible. Mm. I was being recognized for people joining my team, and I was able to show somebody else what was going on. So I get the recognition from them as well. Mm. Yeah. And I signed the person up. And when I signed them up, we finished <laughs> the transaction. My phone went. Ka-ching. Ka-ching. <laughs> and I showed him, look, somebody just joined my team. Yeah. The excitement that that created was just unbelievable. And that's all part of that recognition. Mm. Also, when somebody gets it. So... That's small recognitions. But what you could also do is you could provide reports to your leaders to say, who are my top, who's my top performer? And you can put in play strategies where I take my top performer out for coffee. Mm. So the top performer for the month goes to, and it doesn't even have to be fancy. It can go to the, the Wimpy or to Seattle or Starbucks for a coffee. I just take you sit with you, discuss your business, and buy you a cup of coffee. Sure. And that could be the top performer. And every month we could look at who our top performer is, and that person gets to go with me yeah. to coffee. Nobody else. I don't take anybody else for coffee, just that top performer. Mm. And it becomes something that people are after. Right. It's a recognition of being the top performer in my team. Yeah. So the company can strategize various different mechanisms to recognize their people without physically having to pay any money because recognition – should cost you nothing. Mm. If it's costing you money, it's not recognition. Mm. It's incentives or commissions. Yeah. So when you look at your recognition strategy, it should not cost you anything right. or should be so nominal as to be a non-entity. Yeah. You know, so so that's kind of some of the getting to a new rank. Mm. You should have a different <clears> strategy <throat> at each rank. When a person, for example, hits a, let's say you're five, six ranks up, um, we call it maybe Sapphire. 
when a person hits the sapphire rank, they get to have a five-minute talk or a two-minute talk or a one-minute talk from the stage as to how they got to sapphire. When the person gets to diamond, they get a 15-minute keynote speech. When the person reaches crown ambassador, they are part of the organization. Mm, sure. Other recognition mechanisms is that people at a certain rank sit in the front row. The next rank down sits next row back. And as you get mm. at the at the venue, the person who's just joined is standing out in the <laughs> in the bleachers somewhere. Yeah. You know, looking at the stage with binoculars. <laughs> then your diamonds should have couches at the front. There should mm. be waiters dressed in tuxedos mm. serving them drinks during yeah. the during the, the presentations. Yeah. So you can actually create recognition in stratas with your ranks. So that as you go up in ranks, you are seen to be bigger and better and higher in the in the organization. Sure. And then of course there's um, Facebook and there's your website and yeah. then there's your blog posts and there's your newsletters and that is one of the things I was just gonna mention is I see a lot of our clients uh, posting on their WhatsApp chats or, or the, their public Facebook pages. Every time someone achieves a new rank or someone has, has been a top performer, uh, someone has assisted as a team leader and and uh, built up a big team, they've done whatever they've the company's wanted them to do. They've achieved that and they've been recognized through all these public platforms. Well, you've done the same thing with our clients where you have, when they hit 5,000 exactly. um, network members and 10,000 network members, you give them um, accolades on our on mm. our our, our system our, yeah through yeah. our system through our facebook accounts etc mm. you show them like you've got those beautiful cubes the 5000 yes. cube and all yeah. of that and it's all animated and mm. it's like zaps up and pops up and i mean they get super excited about getting those virtual awards which cost us zero exactly. they, they crave getting that and it's it's such a um it's a personal milestone achievements that they've hit yeah, yeah i've got 100 distributors i've got 500 i've got 1000 2000 5000 10000 onwards and when and they crave receiving that from exactly. me, which is which just drives and motivates them even more. And, oh, and and it's the same. Look, we've got a whole hour session on 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 our website. We're kind of coming to the end of this twenty minute um, talk. Yeah, those people who really want to do a deep dive into recognition need need to go and have a look at those sessions that we did on recognition. Yeah. But the bottom line here, Stuart, is that you've got to think creatively of how you can recognize people for whatever you want them to do, because re recognition is there to drive behavior. Sure. If you want the person to sign up to, recognize them for signing up to. If you want them to sell 10,000 Rand, have a recognition strategy for 10,000 Rand. Everything that you do, every <laughs> recognition that you give is based on what behavior you want to drive. So mm. from a company point of view, they need to sit down and think, okay, what are we trying to drive? Mm -hmm. How can we do that without spending any money? That should be the question they're asking. How can I do this without spending money? And if you have to spend money, it's not recognition. So it's how can I recognize this behavior that I want to drive without it costing me a cent? Sure. And when you can come up with that answer, that's the recognition you should be using. Oh, that's so powerful. It's the same with, well, I guess it's it's different in the that of the uh, compensation plan is what behavior do I want to derive from my people, but then I financially reward them. Exactly. Recognition is different in that what behavior do I want to derive, but how can I recognize them for free? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so then you again we've got the five drivers. Sure. Recognition is one of the drivers, and you need to be pushing your recognition strategy should be as intense and as well thought out and as and you should be as committed to it as you are to compensation. Would you think of running a business without paying commissions? <laughs> Not at you all. Wouldn't, it wouldn't come <laughs> into your head because you know that if you don't pay the people, they're gonna leave. Yeah. I'm telling you now, if you don't recognize the people, they're gonna leave. And so you have to put as much thought and as much effort, as much concentration into recognition <clears throat> as you do into commissions. And this is a lesson for us to learn as sure, well. Sure, yeah. You know, in the Ignition Plus program, right. we should be doing exactly that. I've been thinking that this whole session. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Okay, thank you, Richard. Oh, that, was, that was very insightful. <laughs> <laughs> Guys out there, thank you so much for joining us. I hope it was as insightful for you um, discussing the importance of recognition within the network marketing industry. 
please follow us on all of our channels. We're on YouTube and we're posting up uh, content uh, twice a week. Uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications each time we upload that new content. We're also on Facebook, link, LinkedIn. And if you are sitting in your car, listen to us through the radio on Spotify. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Cheers.